Hello, I'm Brooke Bach from the 2016 Ice Resin Design Team, and today I'm here to show you how to incorporate some of your favorite pieces into a great mixed media necklace. The video today that I'm going to share with you is actually showing you how to attach the bezel to a piece of fabric using ice resin. The little piece, a little crochet doily I'm using, I got at a flea market. You may want to use a piece of lace or some sort of heirloom piece of material that's important to you. So, I'm excited. Let's get ready. Okay, the step I'm going to show you in the video today for making the necklace, the mixed media necklace, is I'm going to show you how to stiffen up and, and also use the ice resin as a glue to attach our bezel here to the small little uh, crocheted square that I picked up at a flea market. So I've already mixed my ice resin and I'm just going to go ahead and pour it on to my piece here in the center. I'm not going to pour it all out because I'm going to want to see what I'm doing. Sometimes I use foil on top of my non-stick mat because it lets me move things around a little bit. So I'm going to squish that down in. I'm going to make sure that it's about out where I want it. I'm going to add my bezel on top. Now, I can dribble a little bit more of the ice resin on the top here to sort of glue it down to my fabric. I want to be careful I don't close up my hole there, but if I do, I can just go ahead and drill it out or poke it out if I do it fairly early. You can see I got a little bit on the hole there. And then I'm also going to seal where I used my ice enamels on my wings with a little coat of ice resin. I love that it's so versatile. You can use it as a glue, you can use it as a sealer, you can use it to encase things that are special to you. You can make components with it. The little brush I'm using here is just a flux brush from the hardware store. They're usually a couple of them for a dollar, so it's not a super expensive brush to use in resin and then throw away. And I like it better than the little disposable kids brushes. And I'm just going to make sure that we've really got it glued the whole way around here so that when it cures, it's stuck fast to our little piece of fabric there. I love mixed media. I think that's mostly what I do. And if I want to at this point, I can try to help the situation along where I covered up the holes there. Poke it a little bit with a toothpick. It's still going to need to be poked whenever it cures, but make it a little bit better. And then you're just going to let that cure. Follow directions. Um, of course, it'll depend on your temperature and the humidity where you are. I've found that if it's a little bit tacky after the required time, I sometimes stick it in. I have a toaster oven that's dedicated to craft work, and I will just stick it in there and let it harden up a little bit on the lowest setting, 150 degrees or under, for like 15 minutes and I find that it makes it really hard and I don't have to worry about being tacky anymore. Alright, thank you very much for joining me. My name is Brooke Bach and I be sure to check out my blog which is www.artisticendeavor101.blogspot.com you can also go to iceresin.com for more mixed media projects and rangerinc.com to purchase ice resin. Have a great day, and I can't wait to see what you create next.